Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How are you guys doing, huh? Uh, today's video is about one of my favorite little uh, things that I bought for my uh, computer and I've had it for several years and I thought I did a video on it before but I looked and I didn't and I said, oh my God, I couldn't do that. So, without further ado, here we go. This is about the USB Phono Plus audiophile computer interface. If you love music and you love dealing with music on the your computer, this is the tool you need. Okay? This thing runs 80 bucks US dollars. Okay? Best money I've ever spent. Okay, so let's go over some of the controls. From left to right, right here is your input. And if it's pushed in and lit, it's using for, a, if you're using your phonograph, if it is out, it's line. And that would be for your tape decks, okay? Over here, you have a filter. If it's lit, it is in, and it's your low cut filter. And if it's out, of course it's off. Now this is is your gain trim, okay? So basically what you want to do is you find the loud, loudest part of your recording, okay? And then you set your limit so your clip signal is not being lit. If you're getting clipping, this turns red. So you get it so it starts to turn red and you just back it off a little bit until it's solid green. And I'll demonstrate this later. Then you're set to good. Up here, this is your monitor source. Whether you're doing your amplifier, so it's whatever comes out you're feeding in, or your CPU, or both. And here's this for obviously for headsets. And this is your monitor level output to adjust your monitor level. I think you can figure this one out. So now, if you go to the back, we have this is your USB to computer. This is the opto out from USB. So, if you want to feed your computer signal into here, where you, so you'd be feeding your computer in your USB, and then you can take this opto out, and you can do that, send it to your home theater. So this is a way you can use, connect your home theater to your computer if you don't already have one of these um, opto outs on your uh, motherboard on your computer. This is opto in so you can take your home theater signal and send it in here and send it to your USB. And this is another SPDF in to USB. So this is a wired digital in and this is your opto digital in. And then this is your preamp line out. So, and this is your phono or line in. So basically, a, if you're, you hook your phonograph or turntable to here and it's got a ground over there. So you, if you connect your ground there, here, and then this goes in and there's a preamp and this is your preamp out. Or if you connect your tape deck to here, then this would be your tape deck out also. Very versatile thing. And if it all gets confusing, and you're trying to figure out, they put a, uh, a schematic diagram, block diagram of how it's wired. 
so you can figure it out that way. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to hook it up. Okay, so first you have your USB cord, which is hooked to your computer. Plug that in your USB jack. And the lights come on. And this should automatically be detected. Okay. So, and then you got to decide what you're going to want to go in. And let's for this video, we're going to do who turntable in. Turntable in. It goes in there. Goes in there, and we got to hook up the ground wire. There, ground wire in, USB in. There, it's all hooked up. To the turntable so you can see here that we're clipping so what we're going to want to do is take this back until we stop getting that clip in and then you take it back a little bit more and that should be set that's how you set your level so that your incoming signal is clean and not clipping so now that you've got a clean signal coming into your computer, you got to record it. And the the program that my choice to, to record is Odyssey. Odyssey is free. It works great. Does amazing things. Goes into a lot of effects. But we're going to just go how to record. Okay? So first thing you got to do is start your engines okay and then you click record okay so Basically, okay, this is going to be you make sure you're going to adjust your uh, recording levels to a point where you're not clipping in the program, okay? So, and that would be showing up here, okay? So, if this gets up to where it's flashing red, that means your recording level here is set too high and you got to back it off a little bit. Because you've already set your incoming signal, so it's not clipping. So this is another setting that you've got to adjust to make sure you're not clipping. Okay. And then you basically, you know, you let the song run and record. And uh, let's see, there are different things here. Fit project, so you can clip that. And you can get a good thing of the thing. If you do, you can edit with this. So if you start it a little bit too soon, you can clip it. Or if you start a little too late, you can you can do a fade in effect. There are tons and tons of different effects for this. But basically, all we want to do is record the song. So when the song's finished, I'll show you what to do next. I'm back, like I said I would be. The song's done. So this is your optical. The whole thing so one of the first things that I do is we're gonna go to edit select all go up to effect hit compressor and hit OK and this basically if anything was a little bit too high it brings it all in but you, you don't want to rely on the compressor because it will work but it will sound like garbage if it, your signals were too high to begin with okay so we got that now the other problem is is 
back then, they loved to run one song into the other on the albums. And this was uh, no exception. So you go to the beginning, and we're going to go... Uh, and uh, you can see right about here, they, they're switching. So what we'll do is we'll cut this. And I like to take like the first five seconds. Right here. Effect. And oop, do fade in. There we go. And now we're going to do the back side. Again, they did the same thing. They ran one song right into the other. So, I think we're going to go from here. Oh. Cut that. Bring that back in. And we'll go. You can see kind of like the natural fade out right here. So, we'll go right to here. And again, now we do fade out. And that should take care of everything. So we pop that like that. There's your whole song. And now you're ready to export audio. Export. And this is Genesis. Okay, and I copy this. You'll see why later in a second. Hit save. Artist name. Oh, I'm going to paste that there. Track. I'm going to paste that there. And album title is Wind in the Wuthering. This was track three, year 1976. Okay, so artist name, backtrack that, and backtrack that, okay, okay, now I'm exported that as a wave because that wave is higher quality than MP3, okay. A, and that's because I'm using this computer and I'll take this computer and put it on my main computer and, and I'll convert it over to mp3 there um, the other thing is is to do mp3 on audacity is um, you need a lane thing which is free you just download it and stick it where it tells you to and then you can do mp3s Okay. And that's it. Uh, so, um, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening. And I will leave you with just a little bit of a clip of what it sounded like when I was done. Um, and I'll put a link in for the whole version because I'll put up a whole version on my page also. So. Mm -hmm.